Hey, this is Rachel from the Life Facilitator, and I am sharing a memory plan with me today. And first, I'm going to give you a quick look at the pages that I have already completed for 2023. And um, it is most of the pages are a mix of Coco Daisy's Coco Daisy kits, Pink Fresh, um, and stamps from Everyday Explorers and Heidi Swap. Oh, and Carrie Bradford Studio, um, some of the date stamps. Um, I have blanks. I have pay, I have weeks that are not done. Um, but I, as you can see, I have started to put a little bit on the page um, for almost every week um, up till March. And I am doing this for two reasons. One, sometimes I don't have enough time to complete a whole spread. But I, I want to get in and do something with my memory planner. Those monthly pages are from City Girl Planners. And so as you can see, I have, I have a couple of... I have a little bit decorated. And the idea here is that um, by just having something on the page, I'm a little bit more motivated to keep going as opposed to looking at a blank page. And sometimes I have more creative energy than other times, but sometimes I just want to slap stickers or just put a little bit on the page. And that's a perfect time to prep um, memory planner spreads. So whether it's dating the memory planner or, you know, adding something to the sidebar, I often end up covering up the sidebar. And so um, prepping memory planner pages ahead of time helps you sort of like chip away at it, especially if, you know, you only have pockets of time available to work. Now, with this week, I am actually working on this memory planner spread as the week is happening. Um, so I believe it was Thursday, Wednesday, when I filmed this um, prep with me video. And so I had already, I already knew a few things that had happened. So like I had a sick day on Monday and I didn't take any photos on Monday. I already knew that. So I had more room to add decorative elements like stamps. Um, Tuesday, I think I had one photo from the day that I knew about. And so I was going to leave room for that, but that was it. Um, and then now I have the kind of the rest of the week open. And what I am doing is I'm actually using a structure that I, I use pretty frequently, um, which is the using the box stickers from the memory keeping sticker kit as a decorative element on e basically every other day so that I have room for photos and journaling but I, I am not, um, but I'm, I, I'm also filling space as well. In this spread, I'm also using um, generic elements for my decoration um, in order to embellish the page, but not be, not have it as themed, if, if that makes sense. Um, so for example, this day in the life rub on would work with any week and um, I am using it in conjunction with one of the clipboard stickers from the classic sticker kit um, and using it as a decorative element on that blue pattern box sticker. So when you are prepping a memory planner spread ahead of time, consider pulling kind of generic elements that would work kind of on in every week. And then here's the other wonderful little tool if you are prepping your memory planner spread ahead of time. You can use photo corners as guides for where, you, where your, your photos will go and what size those photos will end up being. Um, so I basically have two sizes of photos that I use. I use like roughly a two by three size photo and then a square two by two photo. Sometimes I use like one and a half by two and a quarter, but I'm usually either, a, it's either either a two by three or it's a 
square two by two photo. And I already know that about myself. Um, and so it's easy for me to create photo, almost like a template for where the photos are gonna go because um, I, know, I know how I, pl I print my photos. And so when I go to make my photo collages, I now, I, I can look at this page and say, okay, my Wednesday photo needs to be a two by three, my Friday photo needs to be a square photo, etc. Um, it helps me actually streamline my photo printing process. Um, and so, so if you are somebody who batches your photos and maybe prints your photos or gets them delivered and it takes you know, a couple weeks to get your photos. This is another great way to make sure that you are sort of keeping up with your memory planner, even if you don't have all the supplies available to you, including your photos. Um, so yeah, for this spread, um, I'm, I focused on a couple of supplies and I kept my supplies limited in the sense of I used pattern paper or pattern stickers. I used rub-ons and I used a few stamps and that was kind of it. Um, and I can always add more later, but um, this gives me a really good head start for, um, for finishing this spread because all I will really need is the photos and my journaling and I will be done. So if you are somebody who um, really wants to work in your memory planner, but you the roadblock is not having the photos. Um, don't worry, you can you can definitely work in your memory planner without photos, and you don't have to have photos in your memory planner at all. Um, it is more than okay to have a memory planner that doesn't have photos, or the photos are added on um, inserts or something. So. Um, I hope this video encourages you to um, consider prepping a memory planner spread ahead of time um, and maybe it'll help you feel get some like early success in your memory planner for 2023. Before I wrap this up I am also going to say that one of my favorite elements of the Coco Daisy Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit is the simple dory and I use it specifically as a paper pad for my memory planner. So I am constantly ripping pages out of there to use as interactive elements, as background, um, all sorts of things. So um, I, the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit does is really a wonderful kit for, um, for memory planning. I found this little quote card and I decided I'm actually going to just, as a placeholder, put it in with the photo, photo corners and I love it. It's great. Um, adding one more die cut to this interactive element. And um, yeah, so if you prep your memory planner pages ahead of time, I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to know. Um, I'd also love to know what your memory planner hiccups or roadblocks are, and maybe I can address them in a future video. Oh, gotta, gotta add a little washi. When all else fails, you know, washi to the, to the rescue. Um, so I'm going to add just a little bit of washi to add a little bit of color to the page. Um, and then I will actually be done with this spread. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in my next one.